Okay, welcome back. I'm going to be covering inserters from MagneticCraft. So, I got my little basic setup of uh, a black hole unit, which just stores a huge amount of one item. Um, that's like more of a late game thing, but yeah, it just stores a lot of one thing. And then I've got my creative chest. So, pretend this is a quarry. Um, just for the sake of example, I'm going to give myself infinite cobblestone. Okay, so, these are called roller conveyors. Now, by default, I think they're just called conveyors, um, and I renamed them uh, for the mod pack. But yeah, so you craft them either with the stone and some basic stuff to upgrade, or motors and iron. Now, you also need inserters, you know, factorial style. So that's just motors, iron, some iron nuggets, copper, and lead. Pretty cheap. Now, inserters will take items out of inventory or insert them into an inventory. Uh, if I could set it up correctly, yes. So, yeah, I don't think actually it's going to work with this creative chest. I'm not sure though. All right, yeah, it's not. So just let me out, fix that real quick. Uh, chest and you know, item duct. That's the wrong item duct. Item duct. Servo. There we go. Okay, so pretend this was set up in the beginning. Now this will take items out and put them on a conveyor. And actually, I think it, I think it didn't work because I had no output. Oh well. Okay, so magnetic craft conveyors have two sides to them. Um, you can see the inserter just kind of picks the side at random, but you could force it to do one side if you want. Um, I just like doing that. And you can have like one item on one side and another item on the other side. So like I have like uh, this and then have that uh, inserter, like a chest full of, I don't know, like a spell, chest full of sand. So there we go, some sand. Now, they'll take eight items by default um, and they'll just kind of put it on there. But yeah, so very nice and simple, kind of like in Factorio. You'll notice though, um, also it's actually easier to stack because um, they will auto stack on top of each other. So it'll like get rid of the little support leg that you place on top of another conveyor. Very good for compact builds. Okay, so notice though that the, this conveyor cannot keep up. Um, and this one has nowhere to go, like the sandstone has nowhere to go because this is set to cobblestone. So to remedy that, we can have a speed upgrade, which will increase the speed at which it operates. And a stack upgrade, which will let it pick up 64 items at once. So I'll leave these for the other inserter. We'll take this and another black hole unit uh, right here. Here we go, sandstone. So just put both upgrades in there and it'll be very fast and pick up lots of items. Okay, so of course, if you don't have a stack upgrade on this, it's not as useful, but yeah, so I'll pick up the entire stack and just plop it on the conveyor belt and just keep doing that until the items are out. Or if you, I think give it a redstone signal, um, I believe it responds to redstone. I'm not sure though. Let's test that. Nope, they ignore redstone. Okay. So, that is keep processing items, but yeah, very nice. Uh, it's, it's a bit more pricey, but it can help reduce lag, I think, because um, magnetic crash conveyors will stop rendering items if there's too many at once. They are faster than stone conveyors, and they look nice. Like, they look more industrial, and you can just stack on top of each other. And yeah, but also, actually, something else too. Before I forget, uh, buildcraft pipes, if I did it correctly. Buildcraft pipes, I believe, can go. Nope. If I could just set it up. Yes, they can. So you can use buildcraft pipes, and that will uh, connect to the conveyor belt and put items on top of it. So very slowly moving along. I need to use golden pipes by default in my examples. And there we go. So it gets placed onto the conveyor belt um, after a rendering issue. And hoppers also do the same. So put a hopper and some cobblestone and just puts it on the conveyor belt one at a time. And of course a wooden hopper will do the same thing, um, just worse because it has no buffer. But yeah, so that'll just keep going. And I'm not quite sure why that's not working. I guess I put it too close to the thing. Okay, so that one right here is uh, having some troubles. So let's give them the, uh, I'll leave this one here. But yeah, so that'll just keep going and eventually put all the cobbles on the black hole. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this example. It's just, you know, magnetic craft roller conveyors. The second tier you get in this mod pack because you unlock stone. Then you can craft those into roller. I need to put them behind the correct game stage though. I need to do that for everything, honestly. Still work on that. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, you know, go enjoy the mod pack and play it, I guess. Wait, before I forget, um, uh, inserters can only accept one upgrade of each. So like you can't have two stack inserters, for example. Um, you can't, okay, you can do two, two stack upgrades, but the upgrades don't stack. So, you know, they only stack to one 
and that's because it automatically set the stats to be like the highest. You'll notice this is like two or three times as fast as a base inserter, and it picks up stacks of items at once. 